Today I'm going to take another look at my E-Flight Twin Otter. It's a really nice looking RC airplane and uh, fun to fly with the dual engines. So let's get it airborne. And today is a really windy day. Lovely but windy. So I have to push the Twin Otter in order to have it fly good because it is a really severe wind today. One of the greatest features of this RC airplane is the dual engines that has this kind of a humming noise to it. And thanks to the kind of a paint and stickers on this one it's very easy to tell orientation so I'm doing quite simple aerobatics I don't think this is a by design it's not maybe a aerobatic RC airplane although I think almost any RC airplane is more aerobatic than the real counterpart so this is something you wouldn't do with a real twin otter, but this, uh, these RC airplanes are so much more able. And as this one comes with floats and everything, I think it's a good choice. And it looks just great when it flies. I have uh, very few negative things to say about this. plane it's um, goes together fairly simple it's easy to take apart if you want to store it like I do use the original box you get a nice flight time I think if you don't push it I think seven minutes is realistic and uh, although uh, this one features flaps I don't think it's a good flying slow RC airplane when you use flaps because the wings they are really thin and not wide enough so though being 1.2 meter wingspan RC airplane uh, the wing area is not that great really so I've experienced uh, a few times where it's about to stall when you go slow uh, so that's just something to keep in mind but as long as you go speedy and make nice maneuvers, uh, it's, it's a really fun one. I think the speed is nice, the agility is nice. Uh, it's uh, overall just a fun RC airplane to, to have some fun with. And I also think that if you really do want to fly scale with this one, yeah, it's maybe one of the better ones. It does feature uh, navigation lights and if you put, put floats on this one I think it looks even better than uh, without floats. So the only thing that to be careful, I'm just slowing down right now and then uh, putting in some, some flaps, but the only thing to be a little bit careful is nose wheel because uh, as most nose wheels if you do land straight on the nose wheel, uh, the servo and the wheel can just uh, get damaged. So be a little bit careful and, and try to make a wheelie landing where you put down the uh, rear wheels first to uh, save the nose wheel. But as I said, it's really windy today and I have to just uh, get it down because when I'm facing the wind, uh, it doesn't want to come down. And when I'm actually going downwind, uh, I have to keep speed up. So I'm just circling to get a, a nice glide slope, which is always tricky when you have uh, wind. And this area is actually lower than the ground around, so there is uh, usually some some sort of turbulence, a little bit uh, unpredictable. So just try to without having it to stall, just uh, bring it down. If you can see it does rock a bit. And of course I have uh, AS3X enabled. So 
time timer's up. Let's try to get it down then. See so how the crosswind you can see. Okay, well just go around once more. So that's the uh, the wind direction. So if I want to get this one down in a good manner, I uh, have to go across the field. And often it's quite difficult without the wind socket to actually tell uh, uh, wind direction, and especially when it's you know all over the place. So I'm just reducing altitude. And uh, as I said, this plane you, you really want to keep up speed, so don't be fooled to go too slow because then it sure will tip stall. Well, so that's the the right angle then to land this one. And ground handling with these wheels, uh, this is kind of short cut grass, but ground handling is usually uh, done in a really good way with this twin otter. And I really love the, the paint on the on the props, so the spin spinning lines. So I mean this one, it's a, it's a fun plane to to have an alternative to all the usual war, warbirds and uh, high wing RC airplanes in the bush style.